Justin. This is James. How can I help you? Hey, James. It's Roy. I left a note on your truck. Yes. I've been trying to reach you, but um, I tried to call back uh, uh, the other day as well. Oh. Just want to kind of touch base with you to see what's going on. Oh, yeah. I was I uh, was using a Slim Jim to open the door, and I scratched up the window pretty bad. Because I mean, the truck was really hard to open up. You scratched up the the window on what? The, the driver's side. On my truck? Yes, yes. I was opening it to get the pin out. You was using. You was trying to open my truck. Yeah. Well, I did open your truck. I used a Slim Jim, but it scratched up the window quite a bit when I was opening it, and I'm really sorry about that. But I was getting my pin out because you had my pin. The one I do all my, my work with. Your, your pen? Yeah, my pen, like ink pen. See, right here, I'm clicking it. It's my pen. And it was in your front how pass. Did I, how did I get your pen? Oh, that's what I'd like to know. But it was sitting in your uh, passenger seat. And I was walking by and I saw it and I'm like, that's my pen. And uh, I got in there and got it out. And then you... You got you got into which side? The driver's side. And the, it was on the passenger side. Yeah, well, you know, I have arms; I can reach across. But I, yeah, I, the driver's side is always easier to get get into with the Slim Jim. Oh, okay. Yep. So, so what exactly are you are we going to do about it? Um, I don't know. I think, uh, you know, I did damage your window, but on the other hand, you stole my pin. So maybe we could just call it even at this point. A, a window for a pen? Well, it was my pen. It's my pen, the one I do all my work with. R- right. But we're talking about a window versus a pen. Well, it just scratches on the window, and my pen is pretty banged up. I've had this pen for years. I do all my work with this pen. Right. But still, we're talking about, you know, even at the end of the day, it's it's a pen versus a a car window you don't it's my pin it's my pin yeah are you sure you have the same the the right person yeah i it was that truck and i left a note on after yeah i got the note but there was no pin in my my truck oh yes there was it was sitting on the passenger seat it was my pin I've, I lost it like a week ago. I, I work over the DMV, and uh, I loaned it to someone. Maybe it was you. Did you come to the DMV and borrow my pen? The DMV where? Here in town. In downtown Dayton? Yeah. No, I've never been to the DMV in downtown okay, Dayton. Okay, well, maybe someone else borrowed it. Maybe, uh-huh. you, maybe you didn't steal my pen. Maybe you stole it from someone else. But someone borrowed my pen, and they didn't return it. And then the next thing I know, it's sitting in your truck. So very suspicious to me. Maybe you just don't want to admit it. But I haven't been oh, able to okay. do any work without my pin. And you work at the DMV? Yeah. Hmm. Because like I said, I've never been to the DMV downtown. And plus, my truck doesn't have any scratches on the window. Okay. Well, I guess everything's fine then. We don't have to worry about it. Gonna, All right. I'm going to write this down with my pen. No scratches on the window. Done. Okay. All righty. I'm, I'm glad we agree that, that All right. you're in the wrong and you stole my pen and I didn't even hurt your window. I did well, nothing. You, you're the, you said that you hurt the window. I never said that. I was just saying maybe there were some scratches. Maybe you just didn't notice them yet. But I think it's fine. And, and it's... It's pretty much an even exchange. You stole my pen, and I scratched up some of your window. No, no. you just said that I didn't steal the pen, because I said that I had never went to the DMV to be able to Well, take maybe I pen. said that, but what I was thinking is that you're just a liar. Uh-huh. You're a thief and a liar, and you did come oh. to the DMV, and you borrowed my pen and never brought it back. Oh, okay. I do all my is work with it? this pen. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Bye, James. <laughs> Fucking pin thief. Snowplow show. Snowplow show. 
Snowplow show, snowplow show. Okay, bitch. Snowplow show. Roy. W- what? W- Roy. Okay, fucking dog. Steve Dave. Fucking dog. Oh, fuck you, lady. Turnwinder? <laughs> okay. Bo, 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 sha, bo, 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 Ma'am, 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 hello? This is the grooming manager, how can I help you? Hello? Who, 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 who the hell are you? Steve Dave. No, 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 I, you're not making a lot of sense. Sense, sense, sense. Oh, my wiener. What the fuck is that? You don't say that word. You are some kind of asshole. Yeah. Bob Dabalina. <laughs> Bob Dabalina. What's this? Bitch, asshole, and don't fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. No, 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 no. Fuck you, bitch. Have you ever been fucked in the ass? How dare you talk to this dog like that? Bird blinder? Fucked in the ass. Bo, 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 sha, bo, 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 Ma'am. Goodbye. Dabalina. Ma'am. Ma'am. Hello. Goodbye. Dabalina. This is Sensei Doug. What? Sensei fucking Doug. Who's the good boy? Who's the good boy? Who's the good boy, Westy? Is it you? Are you the good boy, Westy? Roy. Steve Dave Rock Bob Dabalina, go suck a dick. Roy, Steve Dave Rock Bob Dabalina, go suck a dick. Listen, Westy, you little shit. <laughs> Turnwinder? Okay. I think you're full of shit. I think you're full of shit. Cactus, 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 motherfucker. Hey, everyone, you're listening to The Snowplow Show for September 22nd, 2017. And this is the 398th episode, which is sponsored by Neekish. Thank you, Neekish, for being a supporter over at patreon.com slash phone losers. On today's show, we're going to do a brand new twist on the old Is Your Refrigerator Running prank. We're going to call up children who are home alone and convince them to climb inside of refrigerators and then stay there. It's going to be so funny. I hope you guys stay tuned for that. I got a really good list here of children who are currently home alone sent in by FOD87. Thank you for that list, FOD87. First, though, I've got some important updates. Like I have this article here on prank calling. And this is from StockTalkReview.com, exactly where you'd expect to find an article on prank calling. And the article is called 20 Funny Things to Say While Prank Calling. So you know this one's going to be good. It says, what are the funny things to say while prank calling? Prank calls on the phone can be hilarious, both for the prankster and for the victim. You mean Roy Sipient. Simple and funny pranks are great and provide great moments of laughter for everyone. It is a harmless technique for a bit of fun, and it has been around for a long time, ever since telephone calls became affordable for common people. With mobile phones, there is less scope for prank calls, but it's still something that can be enjoyed. Why is there less scope? I don't know. They don't say. One thing to be remembered when making prank calls is that it should never be mean or nasty. I mean, come on, who would do that in a prank call? Deliberately harassing or hurting someone is not a joke and must be avoided. Even if you think you are funny, you ought to think from the perspective of the other person before making the call. And I do do that, by the way. That's how I get under their skin. If you think they would not appreciate it, then don't make the call. There are always others who would appreciate a prank call. So, you see, only make prank calls to people that want to be pranked. I bet this guy's prank calls are hilarious. Network World claims that the first prank call was made in 1884. Someone actually called Undertakers to bring coffins for dead people. When the Undertakers showed up, they discovered that the people were hale and hearty and alive. They never found the prankster, but this gave rise to a culture of prank calls. A successful prank call should be simple and funny. The simpler the prank is, the more likely it is to succeed. Sites like Reddit and YouTube have interesting ideas which we have collected together in a list. By the way, there is no list in this article. Like, no list at all. I guess maybe if I were to count all of their points about prank calling, there might be 20 things in these four paragraphs, but there's definitely not a list here. It's pretty weird. One of the funniest pranks is to call a shop and ask for the price of something you know they don't offer, like calling a restaurant and talking about shoes. Yep, that's a good one. It can be really hilarious. Another prank is pretending to be from the phone company calling to test the phone. This way you can ask the victim to repeat silly phrases. They usually respond, which can be quite hilarious. This is a classic prank that harms no one and is funny every single time. Another funny prank call would be to call someone and inform them that they have won a prize. Just keep talking nonsense and keep up the deception as long as you can. Wow, these ideas are really vague for some reason. 
If you want more funny things to say while prank calling, do check out our complete list. Holy shit, there's another article linked at the bottom. I didn't notice this, but I just clicked on it. I wasn't going to read it anyway, but I clicked on it, and it's another thing that's not a list. It's just an article filled with keywords, I think. Wow, I can't believe I read this on the show, but I'm sure you guys enjoyed it. You you learned a few things about prank calls and how to make them funny and how to only prank call people who are expecting it. Make sure you ask people if they want a prank call before you actually prank call someone. Otherwise, it's rude. You don't want to be rude. If you want to read that article, though, go over to phonelosers.org. I'll have a link to it in the show notes. And you can read the article that's linked from it and is also not a list. And maybe leave a comment for them. Tell them how awesome this article is. I guess that's all the news we have today. The only other thing I have for you is that you need to be leaving notes on cars that read, Sorry, I dinged your car. Please give me a call. 626-269-8976. This is Carlito's thing that he invented several years ago, and he does every year. And he's nice enough to give me some of the phone numbers from the voicemail this year. Thanks, Carlito. That's really nice of you. If you're going to leave a note, please do it in public parking lots. Don't go on people's property. What the hell, people? And don't leave a billion of them on every single house on your street. It looks like we have a week or so of Ding Timber left. So keep leaving notes. There's not a lot of messages coming in right now, which is the main reason today's show isn't all car dings, but there is a car ding or two at the very end of the show. So just skip ahead an hour. You'll find it eventually. Anyway, let's get started with the show after this quick message from our sponsor. This is a sponsor we got through Legend. Thanks, Legend. It's Legend's fault. You guys have to listen to this song. It's the freak phone. And here's the party freak. Friday freak. Guess a new sensation. Grabbing the nation. Doing the freak call now. 1-900-4903 Join the party The fast and easy way To hear what's scamming From New York to L.A. Call now 1-900-4903 What's happening? What's jamming? Party till you drop Dial and hear the action What's hot and what's not? Call now 1-900-4903 Two dollars a call I've got a list here from Jeff. It's a list of contractors in Wisconsin that are pre-qualified for work by the village of Pleasant Prairie. That means the companies have proven to the village that they have experience in the work category that they are listed under and are probably licensed and bonded and such. I don't know if you can find a use for this or not, but if it helps foster ideas, I've also included a list of contacts at the village in case there were questions about upside down sidewalk installations. Maybe they're looking for a village hall repairman. And this is a PDF list, which is 24 pages long, and I don't think I will use all 24 pages. Sorry, Jeff, this is a lot of stuff here. But I was thinking I would just jump on the air, get on the Mixler, and maybe spend the next hour or so calling these things. So let's give this first one a call. The first category here is Asphaltic Pavement. Asphaltic Pavement. That's what it is. You know, it's asphalt. I've never heard it called Asphaltic, though. Good afternoon, Asphalt. This is Alex. Hi, Alex. Uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm with the village and village of Pleasant Prairie. Hi. Hi. Uh, I was just hoping to uh, maybe get an estimate from someone about um, asphalting someone's lawn. Um, like paving new asphalt. Yeah. Well, they have grass right now, and we're gonna okay. we're just gonna. We want to do kind of like an an overnight job, like just kind of sneak over there, kind of. They have a really large lawn, and um, I want to cover it in asphalt. Like, and we Are don't. Are you serious? Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a personal thing, but you know the city's going to pay for it. It's not a problem. Okay. Well, I do have some unfortunate news: is that we don't actually pave the asphalt; we just fix it. Oh shit. But I do have a company that I can recommend to you that will pay you. That'd be asphalt. great. Okay. Um, they're called Asphalt. They're out of Mosinee. Okay. And the number is 715. Oh, right. I'm going to call them up. Okay. We're, we're going to get this done. Is it, is, are, do they work fast? I don't know what their schedule's like. Um, I do know that we are already booking for next year, so ah. I don't know if. Do you think they'll be they kind of available today, tomorrow? Do you think they'll be kind of hush hush about the whole thing? I. <laughs> this sounds like a practical joke. Oh no! Oh, well, it's in a way it is. It's like this, the, the stupid kid that lives there. Um, you know, he he was supposed to take my daughter to prom and and he he bailed out. So, you know, fuck fuck oh. that whole family. I'm gonna asphalt their lawn. Okay. <laughs> 
So um, I'll call up this place. I don't know what their schedule's like. You'll just have to call and see if they'd be able to do it. Okay. Yep. I'll I'll offer to bribe them. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. So materials. Hi there. Uh, this is uh, Steve Dave. I'm with the the city of Pleasant Prairie. Or the village of Pleasant Prairie, whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, I was just wondering, like, do you have... I, I just need to get someone's uh, lawn asphalted. It's like a nice big corner lot. And they have a, a really big lawn, and I'd like to just cover the entire thing in asphalt. Can I get an estimate over the phone for that? Um, let me see one moment here. And I don't want it to spill into the neighbor's yard, because they didn't do anything. It's just this one... <laughs> Is this a joke? <laughs> no, why? Why would you think that? Okay. I don't know. Sounds okay. Um, we actually don't cover the Pleasant Prairie area. That's ah, too far shit. For us. You know what? I'm sorry. You know what? That that stupid hoe over at uh, Chinchilly Asphalt or whatever it is, she told me to call you guys. Let me see. I'm gonna call her back. I'm gonna call her back and yell at her. <laughs> I recommend that you call Gasser Construction. Oh, no, I'm not falling for this again. I, I'm going to just <laughs> s- stick to our approved... You don't have to take that advice, though. Yeah, yeah, fuck your advice. I'm, I'm hanging up. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Well, this is not going well so far, and I kind of feel like this is how the whole thing is going to go. I'm just going to talk to secretaries that don't have any decision-making powers. They're just going to laugh a bunch. Because contractors, they're busy people. They're going to be out there contracting, you know? They're not going to be hanging around the office. Good afternoon, contractors. Hi, uh, this is Steve Dave from the village of Pleasant Prairie. Hello. Hi. Um, I was wanting to find out, is there any way um, I could get an estimate to uh, have someone's lawn asphalted? Um, let me have you... I'm going to have you leave a message for Darren. He's uh, at lunch right now. Okay. But um, he can call you right back, okay? Oh, no, it's okay. I could just get his, his cell number and call him at lunch. He, me and him are uh, good pals. It's what was fine. It? Him, me and him, we're good pals. It's fine. He, he, he would want you to give it to me. Oh, he would? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hold on just a second. Okay. Hi, can I help you? Hi there. Uh, this is Steve Dave from the village, village of uh, Pleasant Prairie. Okay. And I, I just wanted to get someone's uh, lawn asphalted. Like, instead of grass, we're just going to put the asphalt right on top of the grass. Oh, sure, Mark. <laughs> no, my, name, my, name's, <laughs> my name is Steve Dave. I'm sorry? Steve Dave is my name, not Mark. Um, okay, so you want somebody's whole, whole yard asphalted? Yes, yep. Ah, ah that's interesting. It's going to be like a corner house. But I, I don't want to get the neighbors' yards because they didn't do anything. Just, just we want to make sure it stays in their lawn, and we want to do it late at night. Okay. And hopefully okay. quietly. Okay. We're just going to asphalt straight over their driveway. <laughs> and if you are kidding, no, right? no, I'm completely serious. This, this is this this guy, like his son, his son broke up with my daughter. So, oh, okay. you know, it broke broke her heart. So, you know what? Fuck it. The, the pay payback, right? That's right. Yep. Mm, okay. It's All not right. a big deal. The city's going to pay for it. I've already gotten it approved. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, either way, I'm still going to put you through to um Darren's voicemail. That's where you were heading, right? No, I didn't, I was hoping to get Darren's uh cell number. I could just call him directly. Oh. That would be fine. Well, I'm not sure he's going to want me to give that out right now. But, no, it's um, okay. I know him personally. You do? Yeah, okay. we're good uh, friends, even though I don't have his number. Yeah, okay. That If you're such good friends, don't you think you would have his number? Yeah, you'd think, but nope. Um, yeah, I got a new cell phone and uh, lost sure. my contacts, and you know how it is. It's happened to all of us. Okay, well, um, hang on. I'll dig out his number. Oh, yeah. She's transferring me to the voicemail, I bet. I'm on to her tricks. Weird. It's just ringing. Maybe she did send me to his cell phone and he's just not picking it up. 
Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to hang up, I guess. What a dumb idea, anyway. Hey, wait a minute. Wasn't I going to go on the air? I'm supposed to be on the air right now. I need to go on the air. Here, let's just turn on the Mixler. I'm not even going to get ready. I'm just going to turn on the Mixler. I'm going to put on a little bit of uh, alien music that I've patched in through my direct TV dish. There we go. Hey, everybody listening on the air. It looks like there's just two people listening right now for some reason. What are you guys doing here? I was I didn't even announce the show today. What the fuck? Anyway, I'm getting ready for a show right now. I'm going to get started in just a minute. But until that happens, I'm going to play you some uh, alien music from approximately 89 light years away, I think it was. I've hooked up some equipment here in the Situation Room, which pulls in alien radio stations. So here you go. Here's, here's a song while I get ready, and we'll be doing some calls here in just a minute. music was getting on my nerves so i'm doing this thing uh it's a list from uh it's a list from jeff and it's a bunch of contractors in wisconsin um I, i'm gonna do a few cardings i think uh there's not a whole lot of cardings in the carding voicemail right now but i will attempt a few of those here in a little bit uh but anyway i'm gonna be calling some contractors here i've called a few already i tried to get them to uh pave the home of uh, some asshole kid who who broke my daughter's heart and they they wouldn't go for it actually they just thought it was funny it was pretty stupid really but i thought i'd call a few more of these i've got um contractors here that do uh, asphalt they do building construction they do concrete carpentry this is like 24 pages electrical fire protection flooring grading well you know what this stuff is Oh, grading. They, they could make things perfectly level, like uh, 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 Rick did. They find out reality's a lie. Interior plumbing. So I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm just calling up places, contractors. It's probably not going to be funny. I'm probably going to abandon this idea within the next 20 minutes. We're just going to do something completely different. Uh, so we're going to start with asphalt. That's what I've been doing. Maybe I could ask them if they could take up asphalt, you know, like remove the asphalt. I've had this list sitting in my email forever. Oh, since July 21st. That's forever to me. Pavement maintenance. Hi, uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm with the village of Pleasant something, Pleasant Prairie. Uh huh. And I just have a question. What is it in regards to? Uh, some pavement stuff, or I mean asphalt. Are you able to remove asphalt? Um, they do have a milling machine and a pulverizer. Oh, that so, sounds yes. cool. But um, all the gentlemen are out there. It was kind of a family wedding. I can give you Josh's email address. Okay. Well, do you know where? Your- do you happen to know where the Pleasant Prairie United United Methodist Church is? I don't. Ah, it's but- over there on 104th Avenue. I don't, but... Uh. Yeah, they, they, they haven't been paying their taxes, so we're going to do this. Um, we're trying this new thing. We're going to um, just remove all their asphalt and say, if you don't pay your taxes, then you don't get asphalt. Because they have a big well, church parking lot, so we figured that'd be one way to get to them and get them to start paying their taxes. Well, what company are you with? Oh, and I'm with the city, I mean, with the village of Pleasant Prairie. You're going to remove their asphalt? Yeah, we're going to take it out of the ground, and we're going to put it into uh, dumpsters, I guess, of some sort, and just, we're going to store those over in the city building. Say, you want your asphalt back? You pay your taxes. I didn't think churches paid taxes, actually. Well, they pay some taxes, but they should be paying more taxes. You know, these people, they don't even do anything for the community, so they should pay all of their taxes, as far as I'm concerned. Well, I will give you Josh's email address. Uh, No, I don't email. I don't even have an email. Okay. Well, can, he's not in. I can put you in his voicemail. He can call you back on Monday. Can I just get a cell phone number real quick? Well, like I said, there's a family wedding, so they're kind of all out. Yeah. Yeah. But we do, we would break up asphalt that we can do. I don't know if they, they'd cut it neatly. Yeah. But, you know, they do break it up. They work for many, many, many road projects. 
so. Okay, yeah, we're just going to need to totally steal all of the asphalt from their parking lot, just break it up into pieces and put it into a dumpster, I guess. Why don't I put you in his voicemail? Well, that, I don't want to talk to a voicemail. Can you just put me through to his phone? Like, can you just give me his phone number? No. Please? Um, he's Like I said, there's a family wedding, so <sighs> he's not available right now. Where's, but I can take a number, or I can, I can have him call you Monday. Where's the wedding at? Is it at this church thing, by chance, or...? No. Well, I mean, is it is it in Pleasant Prairie? Uh, I'm just wondering. Like, no. I don't. Wanna, I want to make not sure there's in, not a conflict of interest. It's not in Pleasant Prairie at all. Where is it? I'm not going to go into that detail. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and call the church and see if they'll put him on the phone. Ah, come on. <laughs> here, let me find a good business here in Pleasant Prairie. I think there's a Jelly Belly factory in this town. I swore I saw that earlier. Oh, maybe I was just imagining that because I was hungry. Premium outlets. Oh, there it is, the Jelly Belly Center. <laughs> Let's see what this is. Oh, yeah, the Jelly Belly Retail Store. So the problem with these, I feel like I'm just going to talk to a bunch of secretaries and it's just going to be stupid because they can't, they don't have any decision-making power. They're just going to laugh at whatever We're I say. We're and plumbing. This is Vicki. How can I help you? Hi, Vicki. Uh, this is Steve Dave from the city of, I mean, the village of Pleasant Prairie. Hi. Hi. Um, I was just hoping to um, get an idea of how much it might cost to uh, remove a bunch of asphalt from some business's parking lot. We don't do, con- we don't do concrete work. Oh, uh, well, it's not concrete. It's more like asphalt. Don't you know the difference? I mean, come on, you work there, right? So, would if it's does it have anything to do with plumbing or um, HVAC working? Well, we could go that route too. See, like the problem, you know, the Jelly Belly place over in uh, here in um, Pleasant. Oh my! God. What? Okay. Yes. Yeah, you, you're you're the, familiar with. Yes I, yes, I am. Okay, well, those people have not been paying their taxes, so we're gonna go in there and rip some shit up. And, like, I was hoping to just remove their parking lot and say, you know what? You're not going to pay your taxes. You can't have your parking lot. But if you could do something to their plumbing instead of that, that would be fine, too. But we've we we just we've got to send a message that they can't fuck us over like this. You know, we're the city. Can you hold one moment, please? Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate the trust <laughs> our loyal customers continue to show us. Why did For she laugh? Who haven't yet experienced the level of customer satisfaction? All right, I need to write down. Exactly. Heating, plumbing, plumbing, and geothermal is known for. We hope you'll give I us keep the forgetting. opportunity to serve you. I'm with the Thank village. you for calling Southport. It's Jerry, can I help you? Hey, Jerry. This is Steve Dave from the Village of Pleasant Prairie. Hey, Steve. Hey. How you doing? Oh, pretty good. Is there any way you can rip the plumbing out of a building from the outside, or, or just make it not work? Like just uh, remove the the main lines or something. There is a uh, yeah. It connects the city sewer outside the building. I have to dig up the dr- parking lot and get to the lines and destroy yeah, them. yeah, something like that. Because we, we've good, yeah. we've tried just reaching in there and shutting it off with a wrench, but they just keep going back out the, out there and turning it back on. And and you guys don't do asphalt or anything because we were thinking about just ripping up their parking lot because they're not paying their taxes. Yeah, we were up our parking lots, but you, that's only to get to the plumbing. Oh, that stupid lady uh, answering the phone, uh, she didn't think you did. I told her you'd have to rip it up to get to the plumbing. Like, how are you going to get down there? Uh, teleport well, down there? Yeah, we have the mains and stuff. I mean, this is <sighs> infrastructure that people, yeah, this, I mean, yeah. Well, why can I help you with I don't understand what we're talking about. Here. Oh, well, you know the, well, oh, yeah, that lady, she probably didn't pass along the message fully. Man, she sucks. But you know the Jelly Belly place here in Pleasant Prairie? Yeah. Um, they, they haven't been paying their taxes for like five years now. And we just want to do something to like send them a message. Well, you're not going to just go in there and start ripping up the street. Oh yeah, we are. No, no, we, we have, oh yes, we are. You have some police officers there real quick. Oh no, we, we own the police. We're with the city. Uh, I mean, we're with the village. Okay. Well, yeah, that was something that would be contracted by to 
you know, Southport Heat and by George Pleasant Prairie. Oh, you don't even know what you're talking about. No, we just need someone to come out there and pull the pipes out of the building. Just yank them out so they don't have water anymore. We're we're not going to do it. I'm just telling you, we're not going to touch that building. Why not? That's what we want to hire you to do. We know that we have a process that we go by for the hiring process, which is quotations, estimates. Yeah, but we need this done quick. Look, money is we no have object. All kinds of things. I mean, you work for the city. You, you, you know, you need permits to start no, tearing no. up piping. We're going to do this on the DL, and we're going to do it at night. We're just going to go out there and pull the pipes out of the building. Nope, guess not. So yeah, let me cross that one out. Plumbing, not asphalt. Oops. Uh, so the next, uh, I don't know. Let's let's just move on to something that's not asphalt, like carpentry. Or control monitoring systems. I could ask them if they could help me hack into someone else's control monitoring thing. Maybe. I don't, what the fuck is a control monitoring thing? We've got electrical here. Yep, we've got asphalt. Fire protection. Fencing. Let's put a fence in front of their, in front of their gate. So they, their employees can't get in. Good afternoon, Aluminum fans. Hi there. This is uh, Steve Dave. I'm with the Village of Pleasant Prairie. Yes. And um, we were hoping to get someone there to put up a fence for us in front of a building. Okay. Have you talked to them about this before? Oh, or oh, No, no. This is my first oh, call. Oh, this is a first. Oh, I thought maybe it was... Uh, if, the, I'm sorry. It's, I guess I was taking... <laughs> you were hoping you could get someone there, and I thought, um, hmm. Yeah. So, okay. It, just m- wanted to make sure it was something that we hadn't dropped the ball on. Yeah. Um, are, are you familiar with the Jelly Belly Factory? Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, yeah. I'm a Pleasant Prairie resident. Oh, so are you? Yeah. Of course, I'm a friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. What was your first name again? Um, it's Steve Dave. But like, so they, they, this place, this Jelly Belly place, they haven't been paying their taxes for, for See? years now. So where does, where you want to like, where do you want the fence? Well, we want to put a fence like around the whole building, like one that they can't remove. Uh, so they can't, so they can't get their cars in anymore. Are we, you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Just around the parking lot part. You know, if, if we just we need you to want to put a you want a fence in their parking lot so they can't get in with their cars yeah and, but and permanently well not permanently maybe just till they okay. pay five years worth of taxes we, we got to send a message okay. to um, these well people. i mean we can do that um that we can put in temp fencing or i mean i don't know that you really want to i mean I, what other kind of fence were you thinking of something actually being installed in the ground or is it just a temporary thing till they pay taxes or um, well, we don't want them to. We we don't want them to, you know, like pull it out and and you know let their employees in and let the customers in. Oh, we want to make sure. Okay, you know, I'm not sure how um how how much they would be able to maneuver it. Um, Kevin does tent fencing at say the fairgrounds. Um, they're pretty heavy things. Yep. But uh, being that it's tent fence, I would imagine it does have some, you know, it's not cemented in the ground or driven in four feet like our permanent fencing would be. Um, so how many feet of fencing are you thinking that would be? Oh, hell if I know. I, I mean, oh, you, you don't just, know. Yeah, so just, it's the entire parking lot or just the employee's parking lot or what, how much? I mean, I can do, I can do a county, you know, um, map survey thing and... And I can, can look at it, and we can get a general idea. Can, but um, yeah. if you could, um, let's see. Can we just put a dumpster, like, in front of the entrance? Like, do you guys have those big dumpsters? We it, don't have dumpsters. We do dumpster enclosures, but we don't do dumpsters because we are fence people. Oh. People. Could, could you just but, get those I big... Mean, if you wanted to put something across the driveways, is that going to prevent them from getting uh, driving across the grass? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, we just want to totally fuck them over. We want to send a message. Like, do you have... I a, guess you... Okay. Do you have electric um, fences? Do you, can you electrify fences? Can we do what? Electric. Electrify them like electric fence? Yes. Like uh-huh. If you touch it, you get zapped? Mm-hmm, yeah. Oh, um, 
I'm not sure. Does, does, um, I know we have electric operators, but that's a completely different thing. Yeah. Um, well, aluminum, are they aluminum fences? Aluminum conducts electricity, we, right? We, I, I could do, just... we do everything. We have chain link. We do chain link with slats. We do ornamental Perfect. aluminum. We do wood. We do polyvinyl. They do anything you want. Yeah. They, they can do anything you want. So We want to make it... Um, I guess... Um, the other question is, though, you want this, like, tomorrow, right? Well, or yesterday. <laughs> well yeah, yeah. Just and then we're, as... like, six to eight weeks out. However, um, well, that being said, I mean, in a you know, I know Kevin will do whatever he needs to do, um, you know, when there is a situation where it's an immediate need. Yeah. So he's actually um, out of town today. Do you and did he'll be coming back on Sunday, but I do have access to, like, message him. So, um... Hey, what I can do hey, you give me hey, an email address. Hey, I'm sorry, hey. go ahead. Oh, do you dig moats? Do we dig moats? Yeah. Or, yeah, or like a watchtower. No. Just a thought. You know, we're just we're yeah, just spitting. No, I here. mean they, no, I don't think so. No. David no, wanted they, to know. They install fences. So I mean if you want somebody with like a bulldozer or something or one of those big things, I guess that would be more like a construction company. Okay, but you Come like uh, are we gonna buy the fence or are we just gonna lease it from you? And if we lease yeah, it Yeah, well temp fencing is a rental thing. Okay, yeah, we could do I mean, the rental. If you go to any construction site hey. and you see temp fencing, that's what it is. I see. Yeah. But with the temp okay. fencing, are you guys gonna be okay if we run about um eight hundred volts through the fence? Because we like, if anyone tries to move it, I want them, I want, I want them to die. You want them to feel like, um, you know, I'm no, just I want them to I'm die. To ask Kevin, I don't, I, I, I don't know how that would work. But, yeah, yeah, no, you know, I actually want to keep people paying their taxes. So, um, Steve, if you can give me your contact information, I can check with him and then get back to you. Okay, that'd be great. Um, okay. Yeah, make sure to ask him about the electric fencing stuff, though. We want to. We want to just like wrap some wires up on the fences and kill anyone that oh. touches it. Just kill them. Oh my them. god! Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, you know the IRS doesn't fuck around, and they haven't been paying their taxes, and they they, they don't pay their taxes to us. So I'm sure the, oh, the sure. IRS would agree. Oh, I know. I mean, I I totally I, I totally get it. And I mean, as a citizen of Kenosha County and a resident of Pleasant Prairie, I mean, I totally think people should pay taxes. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, mine. Fuck these jelly so, belly assholes. Yeah. Well, aren't they? Uh, yeah. Well, you know, there's a lot of uh, jerks like that um, yep. around people that you wouldn't possibly even imagine. Let yep. So they you. deserve to die, basically. All the people at this really? jelly belly place. Oh, my gosh. Yep. <laughs> Steve. Kill okay. Them all. Um, Kill so, them what's your phone number? Right. How can I reach you? Um, it's uh, area code 262. Yes. 420. Mm-hmm. 6969. 6969. Um, and email address so I can. Whatever. Oh, no, I, I don't even know. You. It's it's something something dot gov. Who knows? I don't use email. Okay, but you're employed by the village of Pleasant Prairie, yes? Yep. Uh huh. You are okay. And what was your last? Um, well, I just um, I I've had my name legally changed, so I don't have a last okay, name. Okay, but if you're an employee of the Ple- of Pleasant Prairie, we would this contract would be between us and the village. Yeah, but Pleasant Prairie. So I have to have some kind of contact I'm information. I'm trying to give it to you. If you'll shut up, you you know, like the movie. Uh, you know, what? I'm done. <laughs> she she was fine with me killing people but nope i can't i can't be insulting to her i was gonna tell her my name was like like mclovin what else could we do we got gravel crushed stone we got hvac Ooh, let's <laughs> i don't know why i want to pick on jelly belly but what if we um called an hvac place and said we wanted to pump poison in through the through the vents to to like or, or tear gas that's it we're going to put tear gas in the vents chase them all out for not paying their taxes I'll teach them thank you for calling electric how may I help you hi this is Steve Dave from the village of Pleasant Prairie hi Steve hey how are you doing today okay and you not too bad what um, can I do for you? Well, I wasn't sure if this is something you would offer, but there's this building here in Pleasant Prairie, and um, it's a very large... Well, it's the Jelly Belly Factory. And, okay. And they, they haven't been paying their taxes for the past five years, so we're kind of pissed at them. Mm, understandable. Yep. And, like, I don't know if there's a thing we can hook up to their um, to their heating and cooling system. Like, I don't know, like some kind of sleeping gas or tear gas. <laughs> 
<laughs> you just made my afternoon. <laughs> I'm actually serious. No, we like they haven't been paying taxes. We've we've looked into uh, hooking up a fence outside to keep them from even getting into their place. But okay, fencing okay. companies won't do that. Um, you so, know, I'm going to have to have somebody get back to you on that, Steve. Can okay. I get your um, Let me get your phone number where we can call you back. Okay, but are you guys able to get onto the roof? Like, I know there's heating and cooling stuff up on the roof. Could you just hook it up up there? You know what? I'm brand new. I've only been here a week, so I can't answer that, but I'm going to get a hold of one of the other staff that can and have them call you back. Okay. And I I mean, you know, maybe I, I was going too far saying tear gas, but like we just, we want to make it uncomfortable in there, like maybe something to make them nauseous. Or, I understand. Or, or make I them, understand. Oh, is, or, is, and it's just the, bu- the building hasn't paid their tax. Yeah. Yeah. For like five years. So like if there's okay. like some sort of a, a chemical, a, a neuro agent stuff that'll make them more <laughs> aggressive with each other okay. so it'll just make the working um, environment shitty. Is that a shitty. leased building? Or do um, they own it? it? They own it. Okay. But, you okay. know, they don't pay taxes, so do they really own it? Yeah, I, I understand. I, I'd say, like, okay, Steve, the roof is ours. Okay, Steve, give me the ours. number where we can call you back. Okay, uh, 262-420-6969. Six nine six nine. Yep. Alrighty, mm-hmm. I will have someone call you back directly. Okay, but do you, do you do they have stuff like that, like um, a big a big vat or something that like of gas? I don't know. How does that work? How, how do you? I I really could not answer that. I'm so sorry. But like I say, I will have somebody that does have the answers to those questions call you back. Okay. Okay. Sounds Thanks good. so much, Steve. Mm-hmm. Bye bye. Holy shit, I started having a huge coughing fit. I couldn't talk. I have to drink shitloads of Pepsi now. Ah, I'm dying. No, it's okay. It's it's Diet Pepsi, stew potatoes. That's not bad for my lungs. <coughs> um, um, yeah, what did someone just say up here? I lost it. Something about Freon. I need to see. Can we just make the Freon? Can we just, like, cut some holes in the Freon hoses? I'll chase those people out of there. Okay, chat room. Who am I calling next? Incidental construction, interior plumbing, landscaping. We could landscape some bushes to say, um, you know, the letters pay your taxes. Call a pool company to build a moat. Okay. Uh, painting, interior interior painting, sewer construction. What the fuck's that? Oh, sewer. <laughs> what the hell? Apparently I don't know the word sewer. Rail construction, roofing, no, oh, my favorite, roofing, steelwork, street construction, poison ivy, oh yeah, landscape poison ivy. <laughs> Let me find landscaping, that would be fun. There's only one, oh wait, no, there's a few in here for landscaping. I think Jelly Belly could use a, a little bit of poison ivy. Nursery, this is Carol, how can I help you? Hi, uh, this is Steve Dave, I'm with the village of Pleasant Prairie. Okay. And, what can I help you with? Well, I, I just had a question about landscaping. Um, I have kind of an unusual request. I was wondering if it's possible to... Um, can, can we put in poison ivy as a landscaping thing? Oh. Um, or, or any... That's po- a good question. Any, I don't know. Yeah, any poisonous type plants. Just anything, really. Anything that would be unpleasant. Okay, um, let me put you on hold for just a second. Okay. Thank you. I'll teach them not to pay their taxes if we replace all their grass with poison ivy. Oh, look at that. The Jelly Belly factory has a smoking area out front. <laughs> right next to their big cartoon Jelly Belly guy. This is a huge building, by the way. It's, it's, you know, I think they make Jelly Bellies there, but there's, there's a little factory section here. In the front. Steve? Yeah? I talked with Jerry, and Jerry says we don't deal with the noxious weeds. Ah, okay. What are you look? Why are you looking to plant something like that? Because normally they have, you have ordinances that don't yeah. permit noxious weeds. Well, um, are you familiar with the Jelly Belly factory in, here in Pleasant Prairie? Yep. Yeah. yeah, well, they haven't paid their taxes in over five years. So we were going to send someone over there to... Um, just replace we were going to replace all the grass around their building with poison ivy and the bushes oh. and you know just like thorny bushes and stuff like we're just trying we're 
we're just trying to send a message. We're trying to get them to pay their taxes. And I know they get a lot of tourists over there, and they're they're not going to have many tourists if all their kids are getting poison ivy. Gotcha. I would think they could come back at you guys for doing that, though. Yeah. What, Jelly Belly or the, the tourists? The company. Yeah, but they're not paying their taxes, so fuck them, right? Okay. All right. Nope. That that's fine. That's. I just wanted to let you know that um, Jerry says no. We do not deal with the noxious weeds. Well, is there? Can you recommend anyone that would would plant poison ivy, or do you know where to get poison ivy, or how to handle it? Like we just we just want to. I mean, it's not a huge area around the. I'm, well, it's kind of big, but you know, yeah, we don't. We that don't, I have no idea. Unless maybe you get it from the wild. I don't know of anywhere that you can get it from. They have picnic tables out there. What about fire ants? Are you are you guys able to get fire ants? We don't deal with bugs or anything else like that. Do you know where we would get fire ants? Because we could put those underneath the picnic table, like put little nests under the picnic table. I would assume you could look online for something like that, and you could order them online. Okay, that's because a good idea. Because they have ant farms and stuff like that that you can get online. That's true, yep. Um, could you, by chance, what if, okay, like there's gr- a big strip of grass out by the road, could could you um, maybe plant flowers or bushes or something that spell out, pay your taxes, bitch? Uh, something along those lines? We would not do anything like that. Why? Um, you wouldn't plant because, flowers and bushes? Um, I thought that's well, what we, you'd do. We, we do plant stuff like that, yes. Um, let me transfer you down to Marta. She can take. She can finish the call. I'm I'm in accounting, so oh. I, I have. <laughs> when it comes to plant questions and stuff like that, and and what the and what they will plant and mm-hmm. what what they won't, that I can't help you with. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's but almost Marta, as if- Marta can take down the information and she can treat it as a new call and pass it on, and then one of the designers can call you back. That sounds great. Okay, let me transfer you but, out. Tomorrow. It's weird that you answered the phone, though. Like, why do they have an accountant answering the phone? Most likely because she she was at lunch or she had another call. Well, what's Marta do? Is is she like an HR or something? Like, is she Marta janitor? is reception. Uh, okay, I guess that's slightly so better hold on, than just you. Just a second. Okay. <laughs> Venus flytraps for humans. That's what Killdeer wants me to say. Roger Nee wants me to ask them, what plants attract poisonous snakes? This is Marta. Oh, hey, Marta. Uh, this is Steve Dave from the village of Pleasant Prairie. Yes. I was just talking to accounting about plants for some reason. Uh, about, um, because we, 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 uh, we need to have some things done here at the Jelly Belly factory. Oh, okay. At the Jelly Belly. Okay. You were talking to someone in our accounting department? I guess so. I don't know. She transferred me to you. Hmm. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh. I wonder if that was Carla. Okay. It, she on sounded like Carla. Yeah. Did yeah, she tell you what we were doing? Uh. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, this is over at the Jelly Belly. You said. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she went and I, <laughs> She went ahead and approved uh, it for I'm, us. Uh, I'm sorry. What's that? Uh, nothing. 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 Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, let's see, Jelly Belly. So, uh, have we done work for you before? I don't know, because I've only been here a few years. I'm with the comptroller's office. Oh, okay. All right. Um, and then your name, please. You're going you're to be the contact for this? Yeah, I yeah. Take it. I'm, I'm Steve okay, Dave. And your, and your name? Steve Dave. I, I'm sorry, you're going to have to say that again. Oh, sure. Steve Dave. Steve Dave. Yep. Uh, Dave. It's oh. it's just one word. It's my first name and last name. It's Steve Dave. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. Oh, no, it's okay. You I like the name. You don't have to apologize. Oh, <laughs> no, I didn't mean to misunderstand. Oh. Uh, S-T-E-V-E-D-A-Y-S, correct? Oh, no, Dave. D-A-V-E. V, oh, okay. like, like, like five. Okay. All righty. And the address of the store? Um, well, I, I don't even know offhand. I, I just needed to ask kind of a general question. Like, do you guys deal in um, poison ivy? Like, can you landscape with poison ivy? Oh, can we? You 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 want poison ivy? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I mean, we're or, not doing this for um, Jelly Belly. Um, we're, we're trying to get them to yeah. pay their taxes. And if we plant 
start putting poison ivy around the front doors and stuff. We're trying to send a message, basically. Oh, my. Um, okay, so, all right, do you work for Jelly Belly? Oh, no, no, I'm with the Village of Pleasant Prairie. I'm in, here in the Comptroller's office. Oh, and okay. And they haven't been paying their property taxes or any of their taxes for, like, five years now. Oh. So we, yeah. I was trying to talk to accounting about some options. Um, we were thinking maybe, like, like I don't need, like this might be a ridiculous question, and I apologize if it is, but do they make Venus flytraps that can get humans? Oh dear, it's, this this isn't um, a prank call, is this? No, of course not. No, no, we've just, we've had this problem with the Jelly Belly factory for the past few years. They're not even returning our hmm. calls. We're just trying to get our taxes, city taxes, paid. Hmm. So we were thinking hmm. something along the lines of, um, you know, hmm. uh, uh, poison ivy or poison oak out, out front. Oh, there's, gosh. There's like, I, I don't know if we can be party to something like that. No, it's cool. Um, let it's me cool. take it's... your um, phone number. I'm going to have to speak to the owner okay. and see if he if uh, he wants to deal with anything like this. Okay. And um, your phone and, number, please. Well, do you, what about fire ants? Do you deal with fire ants? Because we were thinking, you know, there's picnic tables out there where families sit. Um. Wow. No, um, I don't have any idea. Oh, something happened to the well, phones where you all of a sudden sound really, really shitty. Did Did you push a button maybe? It, it, no. Oh, um, okay. That, I, there it's better. Fire ants. I have no idea what this is all about. Yeah. So well, um, I'm going to have to look into this and then someone will have to get back to you. Well, is that they, okay? Yeah, yeah. But the fire ants, they attack people. You know, they'll climb up your leg and start biting and it does right. not feel good. I've had that happen to me before. But it doesn't yeah. hurt him or anything. It didn't. Yeah. Um, yeah, so and fire then, ants and Venus flytrap or poison ivy. Yeah, well, is Gosh. Venus flytrap, is that yeah. is that ridiculous? I, I don't even know yeah. how big they get. Yeah, I, I really don't know. I don't even know if they're if that is anything that would grow in this area. Yeah. So, and well, yeah. accounting, they were telling me like they, they, they didn't seem to think you could do the um, poison. I'm going to have to have your phone number and then I'm going to give it to um, the owner of the company. Okay. Can I have your phone number, please. Sure. It's on caller ID. Um, but she was suggesting, uh, no, it, is not. it says private. Oh, that's weird. I, I didn't call private. It's uh, area code two, six, two, four, twenty, six, nine, six, nine. Six nine six yep. nine. What about African Americanized bees? All right, I will have to get back to you on that. Okay, but Thank you. accounting was telling me. <laughs> ah, shit! Don't talk to me. Yeah, no kidding, Johnny Lemon. I like when they say I don't know what this is all about after you clearly explain it to them. I get that all the time on all types of calls. They they, they just can't process it or something. It's, it's like the stuff is too ridiculous for them. Man. I just wanted to ask Marta one last question. She's being a jerk about it. Uh, we've got sewer stuff. I wonder if we could just call up a sewer place and say, yeah, I'm a bank robber. And I know, I was hoping you might have some blueprints to a certain bank branch. That'd be a funny prank, wouldn't it? That, that wouldn't cause any police to be notified or anything. I think I'm going to do that right now. H-Town wants me to tell him I saw a clown in the sewer. Hello, this is Bob. Hey, Bob. Is this the sewer and water place? Yes. Okay, this is Steve Dave from the village of Pleasant Prairie. Hi. Hi. Um, I, I just had a question. We we're, were looking for someone to do a job for us here in town over at the Jelly Belly place. Okay. And um, we we're, we're hoping to uh, go in through their sewer. Uh, is is there a way to go in through the sewer lines, like get into the building from the sewer lines, from the, from the sewer? Like, are they that big? I mean, I know they are in the movies and stuff. Only if it's uh, like in that movie, it. Only if it comes from a sanitary manhole into the building. Huh. Okay. Yeah, they haven't. Do you paid... work for the village? Yeah. Yep. Yep, I'm with the village of Pleasant Prairie. And the Jelly but, Belly, they what, have... Huh? What? Don't you have your own? I forget the guy's name. Don't you have your own sewer and water guy? Oh, well, he says because of ethical reasons, he won't help us. <laughs> okay. Yep. Um, basically, we're trying to uh, send a message to the people at Jelly Belly, though. They haven't paid their taxes in about five years. Oh, so we were really? thinking, like, if he could clog up the sewer lines somehow and just make them... 
like fill them up with cement, for example. Is is that a thing that's doable? Like I don't know how sewer lines work. Yeah, it's doable, but uh, you're really opening it up to a can of worms for lawsuits. Yeah, but they haven't paid their taxes, so how are they going to afford a lawyer? I don't know. I don't know. I just know that, you know, there's a lot of times. I know I, I had a buddy that never got paid on a federal building, oh. so he backed up a du- uh, cement mixer and filled up the stop boxes for the water so he couldn't turn <laughs> the water on and off. That's awesome. Could we do something like that? Uh, sure. What, what did the federal building people do? Sued the heck out of them. I don't know what happened. Ah, yeah. But they're, they're the feds. They have tons of money. This is Jelly Belly. What are they going to do? They can't even pay their taxes. Yeah, I wouldn't want to even be involved in that. Oh, come on. Like, the, like we, won't, we won't put your name down on anything. We just we can provide all the cement if that's the best way to go. We could. Yeah, you, get, you don't use t- cement. You use tank fill. Oh, what, wait. Let me write that down. What is it? Tank fill. Tank fill? It is yeah okay and and that won't come out like that's there forever yeah okay i'm writing that down we we might just I, I i don't know i've been trying to get city people to do this and nobody will take me up on it but um no, i don't know like you know five thousand dollars for a night you sure you don't want to do this no why not are you a pussy Cause I don't. Huh? are you a pussy or something yeah why are you such a pussy Hey, what about expanding foam? What would that do to a sewer, like if we poured a bunch of it in there? I don't know what you, what you could use. Yeah, but expanding foam, that would just that would just make the ground explode or something, wouldn't it? Cuz I, I put some of that in my wall once and it just just you know, fucked up the whole wall. I, I don't know how strong it gets though. Will it? Will it like make the concrete burst? You got a ton of people down in that area. Won't any of those guys do it? Nah, they're all fucking Christians and stuff. They're, they're, well, that's they, because they don't want the uh, lawsuits to come at them. Oh no, no, it's because they're afraid of of God, not not lawsuits. The, your sewer contractors? Yeah. Yep. No, I don't buy that. Well, some of them, some of them are like that. Look, we just we just want to send a message. Do you have any other ideas? Because you know they haven't paid taxes in five years, and I told them on the phone, I'm like you don't pay your taxes, guess what's going to happen? And they're like, what? And I'm like, you'll find out. And I just hung up right then. So I got to do something. You know, I can't just not do anything. What does the village attorney say to do? I have. I'm not telling him. I'm not crazy. Come on. No, can't help you. What about um, clowns? You ever seen that movie It? We could, no. We could put a killer clown down there, and <laughs> all right. Well, have a good weekend. Yep. You too. Bye. Bye, honey. I think I need to give up on this whole thing. So, um, I don't know. I've got 20 minutes left, you guys. I think I'm done with this whole village thing for now. I'm just going to quit. No, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to try. I'm going to attempt um, a few cardings. But we haven't been having a whole lot of luck with these. Like, there's, there's probably 30 of them in here that we still haven't gotten to pick up. Like, you know, stuff from a little over a week ago. Or, or just from last week. Just everything. I see why my number was was coming in as blocked now. I, I like I accidentally uh, deleted a, a bracket thingy, a, a, a less than symbol. I mean the greater than symbol. That's what I did. That's why it was coming up out of area to those people. None of them got to see my hilarious number. I like this idea. It says I have OCD. And you needed a ding on the left side to balance the one on your right, but then I made it too big, so I kept having, I kept balancing. I like that one. Hi, this is Jason. You left a note on my car this morning uh, about dinging the car. I uh, fixed my wife's car. She's at work. She couldn't find the ding. Perfect. I'm trying to figure out where you hit it. I can use Yes Billy's idea. Uh, get your insurance information and that stuff. So you, 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 when you get a chance, give me a call back. Five eight six. 
this is Jason. Oh, hey, Jason. This is Roy. I left a note on your car. Hey, Roy. How are you? Hey, pretty good. Not too bad. How are you? Uh, I'm good. So that's great. I haven't, I haven't. My wife just got off work. I. She said she couldn't find the ding earlier. What uh, do you know? Where it was at? Um, yeah, it was on the left. Um, no, wait. I'm sorry. It was on the right side of the car, uh, not on the door, but just in front of the door. I guess that's called the fender, like kind of where the tire is. Yeah. 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 Yep, yep. I didn't put it there, though. I didn't leave the ding. I think you misunderstood the note. I was saying that I, I uh, removed the ding from the car. I had a, a, a dent puller and some polishing stuff. And, you know, I... Oh, really? I, yeah, yeah. I saw the ding, and I, I, I was waiting for an appointment. You know, I didn't have anything to do, so I just I pulled out the dent. I don't like this. Oh, what's the kid's name? summer oh can you tell summer to shut the fuck up it's hard to hear you i was uh, you know i was talking i was explaining and i kept getting inter- interrupted by the whiny voice yeah can you go in there please thank you what 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 i'm listen to me who me who the fuck are you oh yes. m- my name's roy i'm the one that left the note on the car yes you motherfucker why are you yelling? why are you cursing yeah. at me? Why are you cursing at me? You just, you just listen, you just cursed in front of my fucking kid. Oh, was I on speaker? I didn't know that. W- were we on speaker? It didn't sound like speaker. Who are you? Who who are you? I'm sorry, I didn't know we were on speaker. Maybe that's why I could hear who the Who are you? My name is Roy. I left a note on your car. I I know that. Well, then why are you asking then? Do you live around me? Yeah, I live here in the neighbor. I mean, I, I assume so. I don't know where you live. I'm just saying there was a dent in the car and I pulled it out. I have dent pulling stuff in my trunk. And I, I was early for an appointment. I didn't have anything better to do. So I just, I pulled it out. That's all. You're, you're just mad because your kid is a piece of shit. That's all. Okay. Listen to me. Okay. There's a, there's a camera on, in front of my house. Um, so you left a note in front of my house? Yeah. I'm going to find out who the fuck you are. You didn't see me already? Mm. On the camera? What, good do luck. I, what do I look like if, good luck. if I'm on the camera? Good luck. Okay, yeah, good luck to you with those shitty little kids that won't shut the fuck up while you're on the phone. Listen, listen to me. If I find you, I'm going to fucking kill you. Why? Do you understand that? What? You just, what? Does the truth hurt? I don't think you understand. Oh. Um, could you explain it better? Okay. Please. Hello. So, were we on speaker when I when when I when I cursed? Because I, I didn't mean to curse in front of the kids. Listen, I don't give a fuck who you are. Then why are you, you still on the listen, phone? If, if I figure out who the fuck you are, I'm gonna find you and I'll fucking kill you. Okay. Well, I was just trying to apologize. You're gonna kill me for <laughs> fixing the. Di- oh, okay, he hung up. <laughs> That was weird. People in the chat room were saying that was that was fake, but I don't think that was fake. I think that one was real. That was fun. At least we ended the show on a good note, sort of, right? I'm going to try and do just one more. It probably won't work out, but we'll give it a try. Hi, my name's Darlene, and uh, you left a message on my car. Um, I didn't know if this was your cell phone. What's it matter? I maybe I get a call last night. Oh, but, okay. Uh, it's kind of early in this morning. Um, <laughs> bumper, um, Hello. Hi, Darlene. Mm, she's at work. Ah. Who's calling? Uh, this is Roy. I left a note on her car about the the ding that I accidentally put on it. Oh, okay. Um, uh, you'll have to try to get back with her uh, sometime tonight. Uh, okay. After eight thirty. After eight thirty. Okay. Yeah, she gets off at eight. But times she gets here is about right eight eight twenty. But times she hits there. Could you call her at work and tell her to drive faster? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know if I can or not. <laughs> 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 
But, uh, yeah, somewhere in that ballpark. <laughs> <laughs> you get off work at a certain time, too? <laughs> no, not really. I just, I didn't want to wait. But, okay, around mm. 8.30. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All, right. All, right. All right, bye. All right, bye. Ah, oh, feels so good to laugh, you know? Sometimes, sometimes you just got to laugh. Good times. All right. Uh... Maybe just one more. Oh, shit. I'm, I got a call back. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, Roy, you know that giant house across the street? I just called my neighbor. They said uh, they have you on camera, and I'm giving this number to the uh, police. For what? So, uh, have a fucking nice day. <laughs> For pulling the, pulling the dent out, out of his wife's car. He's upset about that. And what the hell, listeners? Don't don't leave notes in driveways. Put them in parking lots, Walmart's and stuff. Because Walmart parking lots, they never have cameras. You're you're totally safe there. Nothing to worry about. Brad, this is God. Uh, I disapprove of the snowplow show. Yeah, I've done it. It has nothing to do with snowplows. Thank you, God. Away. Sorry, God. It was nice of you to bring your own echo for the whole away thing, though. You're the best god. Hey, Roy. Tandem Stacker here, a.k.a. Chaz. That's illegal. Uh, just wanted to let you know that you had me laughing again with the uh, the grass you turned blue with the radiation. Yeah. And I thought of another Good level times. you can take that to. Tell them that the drones were sent out at night to irradiate someone's lawn. Oh, come on. That's totally not believable at all. I think that gonna would believe be that. even cooler. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. And thanks. Cactus, cactus. I think drone calls are going to be a lot of fun when people actually start using drones for commercial things and people actually see them out there doing things so that they'll know that drones are an actual possibility and we really could have sent them out in the middle of the night to genetically modify their lawns. But are drones really even in the public eye that much? I don't know because I'm not normal. But I see them in the news sometimes. They're like working with firefighters and stuff. Hey Brad, Mr. Tomato Head. Hey there. Um, I've got a suggestion uh, of on course you a do. detail for the adopt the road sign, okay. um, and that is to which I still have a list. By the way, I keep forgetting about this list because Uncle Runkle sent it on paper. He sent it in the mail, so it keeps getting buried on my desk. I need to finish it up, though. Uh, that is to tell them that you know, going ahead and split the money with me. And then you can put in a report of a lost sign and adopt the highway will come back out, put another one up, and <laughs> nobody, nobody will be the wiser. Yeah. So, thank you. Thank you. I like that idea. I'll probably forget about it, since the voicemails are a terrible place to leave ideas. But I would enjoy doing that one. If I knew where that list was, I would just make a call right now real quick. Brad, hey. Hey. How you doing? Great. It's Fox Street calling again. Hey. I just wanted to let you know. In case you're curious, but you're probably not. Nope. Started listening to you a couple of years ago, and I heard about you from Timmy Boo Henson. Yeah. Shout out Timmy Boo. Anyway, my, my invasion uh, of his voicemails worked. Uh, sending you guys over there. It was a perfect plan. A couple of years ago, yeah, and I've just been hooked ever since. And I listen to your podcast most often. I hope you drop Timmy. You know, fuck that guy. My podcast is so much better. I hope you just dropped him so you could support me. Or did while I was studying for my uh, CCNA. Uh, you just gave me motivation to uh, want to be a bigger dickhead at a uh, at the networking and copper level. Mm. So I really appreciate your uh, motivation. Thank you. And I wanted to tell you something else that I thought was interesting. Uh, you had a lawyer, a lady, you threatened a lawyer rather. And uh, my experience with lawyers, working with them and, and using them, is that people that do have a lawyer, especially one on retainer, they don't ever threaten to use a lawyer. Those people fucking are posers. Yeah. You threaten to use a lawyer, you don't know how to get a lawyer. That's yeah, like when people threaten to call the police. Usually they're not going to call the police. They're just trying to scare you. have the first fucking clue, and it's an empty aisle threat. So whenever anyone says that to you in the future, you probably won't remember this because of the dementia, but yep. make sure and tell them, hey, fuck off. If you had a lawyer, they'd be contacting me, not you. I, I should be like, whoa, what just happened? Eh. Anyway, I'm tired of this call. Bye. Oh, that was weird. You cut out or something. But when they say that, I should start asking them what their lawyer's name is, and I'll, I'll give them my lawyer's name, and we'll exchange phone numbers, and have our lawyers talk to each other. That's what I should do. Hey, Roy. This is uh, Mason again. Hey, and Mason. You're getting pretty close to 400 episodes yeah. of the Snowball Show. Is that really a milestone, though? 400? 
what are you on like 397 right now yeah you're pretty close dude maybe i better see a 400 trail that's awesome you will all right see you roy bye or, Brett, or steve dave yeah it's pretty exciting i guess but not really because i guess i officially i do 104 shows a year i mean that's what i'm supposed to do i'm sure i don't actually do that many Probably do like 90 or something. Hey, Brad, it's uh, T-Bone. Just wanted to say hi again. Uh, you played my Blondie song on the uh, last show, and I uh, really appreciate it. Did just I? wanted to uh, let you know that I, uh, I dig it, man. I've forgotten already. In fact, I like it so much that uh, I am now uh, a Patreon. Oh, so, shit. Thanks, man. You're the best. Please keep it up. Listen and, uh, you guys more often. can never dig some more uh, coins out of the cow, so I'll pay you more money. Love mm. you. I actually don't remember playing a Blondie song. I assume it was either Call Me or Hanging on the Telephone Line, because those are the two Blondie telephone songs. You know, I realized about a month ago that I'd never heard that Blondie song, Hanging on the Telephone Line, before, even though I'm old. And I should have heard that by now. I've never heard it. I only heard that one clip of it that some voice guy used to put together a, a drop for me back on the phone show. And I only knew that one little clip from it, but I was driving around, and I heard that little clip. I'm like, oh, it's that one song. I didn't even know that was Blondie, and now you'll probably cancel your Patreon subscription, because I'm being all blasphemous about Blondie. Sorry. Hey, Brad. Um, I've struggled with my name uh, my identity on the snowplow show and uh, i was listening to the guy that can't decide if he's mr potato head or not so um mm-hmm. i almost hijacked that name but i decided to be nice and so i'm gonna be mr tomato head ah shit oh. so I- i'm just kind of skipping around in the voicemails i guess i'm playing two of this guy's voicemails and he doesn't even deserve it because he's fucking with mr potato head's name okay so i got two things to tell you number one please please don't change your message your voicemail um I'm gonna that's do it. just it's it's a classic and mm. i love it and i laugh every time i, I agree it. with everyone that says it's way too long even though they could just hit the pound key and skip over it. I've actually been meaning to change that and make it a little bit shorter. Uh, the second one, I want to give a shout out to Miko. Um, your idea was just absolutely phenomenal. Um, Pete on the door and have gonorrhea. Uh, and yep. uh, she's full Fred, of it. There's a couple things you could do. Um, maybe you can suggest which kind of cleaners uh, would be the most effective uh, at cleaning that off the doorknob? I could be like a door to door doorknob cleaning service. And to demonstrate, I pee on doorknobs. Uh, I hope you do it. I'm going to be waiting. Um, Okay. Thank you. Mr. Name Stealer. And here's the voicemail right after that one from him. We heard enough from him. I'm just going to delete that one. I'm not even going to listen. Same thing with these three from Greg. What the hell, Greg? Three voicemails in a row? All of them over a minute? Hey, Dash. It does work. Just press one and it goes directly to your voicemail. Oh, yeah. Hit hit one. Guys, not pound. Or maybe it's anything. I don't know. America. What are you talking to me on? Now, uh, it wasn't great. He would have just said hello to me. Uh, I dialed your, your, your live line, even though you're not live, hardly ever. Yup. Was today. And then, um, uh, give me this message and a number. So I pressed the number in town and I pressed the number in star and eventually was able to ring you and keep ringing you and you're not there. Yeah, that's always great. I think you're just not there. Maybe. Either that or I'm ignoring you. Who knows? Maybe, you just Maybe I'm just memory. ignoring you. Oh, well, I just wanted to say hi. You say hi. Well, I'm saying hi to you on the voicemails. Isn't that no, good enough? Jeez. Uh, I'm trying to make a conversation with somebody you only know. So I think something else crazy to say. Bye. I've been told that the request line is broken. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm way too lazy to call it right now. But that could be the problem. Hey, look at this. Another three voicemails in a row by some other person. His first one is 3 minutes long, his next one is 37 seconds, and the one after that is 25 seconds. Which one should I choose? I think I'll pick the middle one, 37 seconds. Uh, we're going from the EMXI division of the Homeland and Security. Deleting the other two, God damn it. Uh, we received a report from our monitors. There's a problem in your rear bedroom. That would be the one to the farthest to the west. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need to have you go in there and replace the light bulb as soon as possible. Obviously, we can send our own people in to do that, but um, with a malfunction like this, we'd like Could to you? get up and running again. That'd be nice. Thank you very much, and support your government. Okay. All right, I wish I'd played the three-minute-long voicemail from you, but I didn't. 
I played the shorter one, and I deleted the other ones. What's up, Brad? It's Justin. Uh, listening to the Snowplow Show while calling you and leaving a voicemail to get played on the Snowplow Show. It's cool. crazy. You should try uh, vacuuming while you leave anyway, voicemails. Anyway, hey, I was thinking about when you do your prank calls, what would be hilarious is if when the recipient is talking and just says something along the lines of... Uh, did you ding my car or something? Whatever it is, and then you just say, "Don't you cuss at me, mother effer?" Um, and then they'll say, "Why well, didn't cuss?" And then you can say whatever word that they said and really confuse them and get all wacky. Anyway, I think that'd be hilarious. Uh, keep up the good work, man. All right, bye. Okay, bye. Basically, you're saying I need to say this to him. Don't tell me that you're gonna call me and tell me MS. That's right. That's what I'm going to say to him from now on. It's me again, Brad. Hey. I was, I was wanting to mention about an idea that you could do, seeing that you you um, wash up the devil and that. When, uh, so, yep. like, put, when, some, when someone puts a note, you call them up and you say, I think your car. I, I put a bit of a okay. hand and I put a bit of blood on the handles of your car. I like because it. Because you needed to wash up the devil gonna, and, you know, you're, you're an illness. And he, he cut off. I didn't shut it off, I swear. That was all him. All right. Hey. This is some random guy that got a notebook on the car that said you dinged it to call you back. Mm. Not like it's a root break or anything. Well, of course not. Anyway, Roy, I was just thinking I never can catch any of your live shows anymore. Uh, you missed Which, today's. Uh, I pretty much had nothing to offer. Oh, break. my God, you guys. This is hilarious. He left this message at 11.17 this morning, and I was actually doing a live show then. Maybe you should keep an eye on your Twitter, Ruprecht. The tape was that the same two ideas over and over. Uh, so if you can, put on a little, your little notes. You can incorporate Howard the Duck poster and He-Man action figure head popped off. What? Those two ideas and it's, uh, incorporate them into some uh, your next phone calls. I'd appreciate it. Okay. Since I can't ever make the live shows because those are... Those are my two big topics, man. You know if what I'm only saying? Only been in the live show chat room instead of leaving this voicemail. There's a lot there. There's a lot there to work with. Yep. Anyway, Roy, good, it's been a long well, it's been a while. Shouldn't have left you. But uh, anyway, no gate for an echo because I got this one, all right? I wasn't going to anyway. Rupert out! Rupert away! Hey, 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 right, bye, hey, Brad, it's Nebraska Ryan here. Hey. Just had a little bit of a revelation. Um, God, I had to like the, remember the Big Bamboo's Dockside Grill Facebook mob? I guess I do, I but like not really. Everyone else seems to remember it. Their page. Not me. Comment on it. I left them five stars, by the way. And I don't think they're around anymore. No, but they, I still they, have them on my Facebook feed. I'm they're called something else now. Through my Facebook feed here, I don't do that very often. It's now Big Bamboo's concessions. I think you put them out of business with your Facebook mob. Probably. I think they're done. I think they got so many bad reviews or bad comments that they couldn't run their restaurant anymore. Yep. So now they're just that's running what it was. wagon all over the place. Pretty yep. sure that's what they're, they're, they're on the run now. Going on. You should check into that. I think. Uh, I think you single-handedly put a business out of business that you didn't even want to put out of business. Yep. There's something to that. I anyway. probably do it all the time. Just normally people don't notice it because they're not watching the place. Like you guys are all watching the Bamboo's Dockside Grill Bamboo's for some reason. Bamboo's is all that's left. You should check it out. There's no more There's no more Facebook mob and Big Bamboo's Dockside Grill because it doesn't exist. I'm telling you. Yep. Anyway, Cactus Cactus or Cactus Texas or Texas Texas or however Siri or Google wants to say it. Siri? What are you talking about? It's Google Voice. They're the ones that can't tell the difference. Anyway, I've had enough. I'm quitting the show. Thanks for listening, everyone, and thank you, Neekish, for sponsoring today's show. Oh, shit, that reminds me. I forgot to do that hilarious prank call that I wanted to do with, uh, you know, convincing kids who are home alone to climb inside of their refrigerators. Oh, well, maybe we'll get to that one on the next show. Sorry about that, Neekish. See you next time, everyone. We're going to end the show today with some Lemon Demon, since, according to that one guy in the voicemail, I'm a Satanist and everything.